Now we're back to GIMP. Someone asked me how to put an image inside of an image or inside of a shape to create this I love New York effect. Let me show you how it's done or let me show you how I would do it. I've created a new document 800 times 800. I have an image here and you want to scale this so that it fits. And then I have two hard shapes, one without a background and one with a background. Process is somewhat the same, so it doesn't matter what hard shape you've got. But if you can find a PNG file without a background, use that. If you don't, don't worry, we can get rid of the background or just get around it. First up, we'll add the text using the type tool. I type in I, enter New York. I'll make it a serif font. Around 400 should be fine for my size here. And it's justified to the left. You can see that here, just press Control A on your text to select it all. Then you can adjust it. So we'll give it the size that you need, the font that you need, and justify it to the left. We have the spacing for the heart shape. Make the image on top of the text. And here's our heart. I have to reposition that a little bit. And then I scale down the text just slightly. And then make the heart a little bit smaller using the scale tool. But that should be enough for the setup. Now let me show you how it's done. We simply want to select the heart shape. To do that, we can directly use here right click alpha to selection because it doesn't have a background. And you can see on the right in the selection editor, this is selected now, this white. For the one with the background, use for example the Select by Color tool and adjust the threshold. You can just click on it as long as this layer is active and you can see the heart is selected. The threshold is too high. This is not going to work. It's going to select everything. So make sure to adjust the threshold so that you only have the heart selected when you left click on it. And then make it invisible. We need only the selection. The rest, we don't need it. And here as well, you could use the Select by Color tool directly without using alpha to selection. This would also work. We have our selection active. Let's get back to the image. Reposition that inside of the selection. Maybe up to here. If it's needed, scale it once again. And then right click on it, add layer mask, make it selection and click on add. Shift Ctrl A and that's basically it. One more thing to add, if you, for example, want to add an outline here, I think that would make sense. It depends on the image that you've got. Kind of like a stroke would be nice. To do that, just create a selection yet again of your heart. Create a new layer. We call that outline. Make sure it's transparent. Now you want to go to Edit and Stroke Selection. We've got Stroke Lines, so the color active and black is my foreground color right here. You can flip that. In our case, on a white background, I want to have black. But 12 is a little bit high. Let me press Ctrl Z and I do it again with 8. And that's better. Shift Ctrl A to deselect. And that should be the effect that you were asking for. If not, or if there are questions, let me know in the comments below. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.